Mighty mums, welcome. Today's daily revelation number 95 is do you have a plan? I just went live on our business page and talked about a plan. Do you have a plan? So a lot of people operate on, Sandra again, what an honor. <laughs> a lot of people operate on feelings and they operate on motivation alone. And as we know, motivation is going to dwindle. Your feelings are going to go up and down. But when you have a plan, it becomes on autopilot. You know exactly what you need to do every single day in order to get to that place. Hey, Mel, get to that place of where you want to be. So there's the things that separate, uh, I guess, people that are successful and people that are not successful in the health fitness journey is that they have a plan. So I'm going to post a photo tonight of my plan and what I do weekly uh, to create space to reflect, to make sure I get work done, to train. These are little rocks that I have throughout my day uh, to make sure that when I'm not feeling good, when I'm stressed out, when I'm overwhelmed, I have a plan. I have a plan I go to. Because more than likely, if you don't have a plan, you're going to go to how your feelings are going to direct you. And that might be food. It might be not train. It might be watch movies. It might distract you. And you're going to get a time each week I'm going to change our weekly reports to be done on a Saturday. So you can reflect. You can reflect on how well you did during the week. I'm going to work towards a point system. Do I get 10 out of 10 each week? Do I get 5 out of 10? Is this the reason I'm not getting my result? When you can identify the facts each week of where you currently are and why you're not where you want to be, there's a reason for it. And that's the facts and that's the problems. But a lot of people sit in no man's land. They sit in no man's land where they go, yeah, I kind of know where I am and uh, I kind of know where I want to be and I'll kind of do a little bit of everything. It's not specific. It's just very broad in general. So you're going to get a very broad and general result. You're not going to get, get the result that you're after. It's just like having a GPS and you want to get from point A to point B, but you don't know where point A is, so you don't know where you started. You don't know the facts, the problems, the things that the patterns that you've constantly gone through. Because ultimately, it's the habits, the routines that you need to create every single day. And one of those is the weekly plan. Do you have a weekly plan? And you might say, hey, I don't like detail. I like going with the flow. And I get that. I understand. There's a time for variety. And you schedule that in. And there's times where your weekly game plan will change. Things happen. But if above average across the week, you can plan times, slots for kids, for this, for that, you're going to soon understand that you can get the result that you're after. You can ultimately, it's totally in your control what you do. But if you just leave it up for hope, you leave it up for motivation, you're not going to get there. So later on tonight, I'm going to share my plan and what I do. You can do what I do, or you can work it with how you work. But ultimately, you need to walk away each week having a plan, having the goals, and able to reflect on those goals. What gets measured gets improved. If you don't measure what you're currently doing in all areas of life, you're going to drift. You're going to drift to a place where you don't want to be. But when you plan things, when you're specific, when you've got clarity, that's going to give you power to take you to a place where you know you want to go. And it's amazing how simple this is and how many people don't do it and why a lot of people are not where they want to be in the career, in their health and fitness, in their relationships or whatever, because they don't have a plan. They don't have a plan. It's 2019. They're like, I just hope that I have a great career. I hope my health and fitness goes well. Yeah, I, I, I want to lose weight. Yep, great. But I won't set a plan out. If you don't set the plan, how do you expect to get there? How is the action steps that you're taking daily going in the right direction? You might be going in the totally wrong direction. Now you're wasting time. You're wasting your energy. You're becoming frustrated. And that's what causes people to give up. So if you don't yet have a plan, it's time to create a plan. All right, Mighty Mums. I appreciate your time, Sandra Mel, for coming on. And I'll talk to you all soon.